So, your name, ethical society, and how long you've been involved in this. Okay, um, my name's Amanda, and I went to Long Island Society, and I've been in this for two years now, two or three years. Okay, great. And what would you say is, uh, how'd you, how were you introduced to ethical culture? Um, my parents were interfaith, so they wanted a set of beliefs to pass on to their children um, that was more secular, so they decided to bring us to the ethical society. Great. And what would you say is your, your current involvement in ethical culture? Um, well, I think I practice it most in my career. So I just started as a social worker, uh, which I feel like is the professional version of ethical culture. So I try to carry out the beliefs and practices of ethical society there. So, so uh, yeah, I mean, are there any other uh, parts of your life where ethical culture really uh, influences your worldview or um, how you interact in the world? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I vividly remember talking about all the different religions in the world uh, in Sunday school at Ethical Culture and it, I think, encouraged me to think about experiences beyond my own um, and also the ethical dilemmas I found challenging and fun. They started off with simple things, but I think it started to get my brain moving, thinking about uh, not black or white thinking, but uh, really weighing the pros and cons of an action and how they affect others. And would you call yourself an ethical culturist or uh, describe yourself in a different way? I'd, I'd use ethical humanists. Okay. Um, and yeah. why, why do you call yourself that? Why do you call yourself an ethical humanist? Because I identify with the upbringing that I had and I feel like it really has shaped my worldview and my decision to go into social work. Uh, so I do try to carry that out. Um, since a lot of people don't know what that means, I use other terms. Um, but yeah, I do identify as an ethical humanist. Okay. Um, and what do, you, what do you really like about ethical culture? I think it's social education that's missing a lot from the education system that we have today. Uh, how to interact with people in a way that's best for everybody and give back to the community. And it takes a step back from the individualized, living your life for yourself, which I think sometimes our culture promotes. Okay. And why did you get involved in FES and, and why do you continue? I got involved in FEST because I was looking for people that were holding on to values that I also believed in and were coming from a similar background and promoting similar beliefs. And I continue to be involved and support it because I believe in getting people our age involved. Um, I think it's very different how people do get involved. I wish there were more uh, community service projects to get on board because I don't know if people really relate to the ethical culture movement as much as community and the, the values that underlie it. So. Right. And uh, what would keep you more engaged in, in FETS or what would you like to see that um, would either keep you engaged or uh, you think might engage others? Um, projects that are, are less focused on the history of ethical culture, as important it is to me. I don't think a lot of people can relate to that, but I do think people can relate to uh, enjoying things together and seeing how their actions in combination with other people's does make a positive difference. Um, so really focusing on that activism side of ethical culture that I think everyone in the world really can jump on board with um, would keep me more involved. Okay, great. Thank you.